recently, there's been a push both at the state and national level to honor Native American Chief Standing Bear, both with a trail and with a statue. And help leading that charge are Representative Jeff Fortenberry, as well as the, um, you are with the Nebraska Commission on Indian Affairs, Judy Gashkabash. So thank you guys both for joining me. Um, Representative, my first question is for you. You yes. know, why is it so important for you guys to honor Standing Bear? Standing Bear was a great chief, a great Native American, a great American, one of America's first civil rights leaders. I'd like to quote from him right quick. During his trial in 1879, because he was arrested for the crime of trying to bury his dead son on the native homeland near Niobrara, after the tribe was forcefully relocated to Oklahoma, he had this to say, our hands are not the same color. If I pierce mine, I will feel pain. If you pierce your hand, you will feel pain. I am a man. God made us both. The judge was so moved by these words and the entire proceedings that he ruled, and this is 1879, it's almost unthinkable today that this would happen, but he ruled for the first time that Native Americans were persons under the law, 1879. And that was due to Chief Standing's, Standing Bear's leadership, courage, and appeal to this transcendent ideal of the nobility of human dignity and the need to protect rights. So he's really one of America's first civil rights leaders, so it's very important that we in Nebraska continue to tell his story. That's excellent. And Judy, you know, why is it important for the Ponca people to honor Chief Standing Bear as well? Well, for Nebraska's first people, and uh, the Poncas being one of the tribes in our state, uh, Standing Bear was forcibly removed, but in throughout America there are many tribes that have Trails of Tears. But in this case, Standing Bear was returning back to Nebraska against, you know, the courts, against the military, and he took a risk to honor his son's dying wish to be buried along the Niobrara. So, as a result of this trial in Omaha, for the first time in all of America, for all tribes, we became recognized as persons. So I think that's something unique and that we got to come back home and Standing Bear was so brave and he's a unifying force. Most Nebraskans and Americans when they hear this story they can relate to wanting to do to be that brave to be Standing Bear strong and honor your word and when your son on his deathbed asks you to do that how many of us could walk 500 miles and do, and do something like that. So I think that really makes Standing Bear stand up. And all of us, are, we're so happy that he's going to be going to Statuary Hall. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, when can we expect to see Standing Bear in Statuary Hall? That you have to ask the speaker. <laughs> speaker and maybe Congressman Fortenberry can speak to that. We actually just wrote Speaker Pelosi asking for permission to use Statuary Hall in a ceremony coming up. The state legislature has decided to honor Standing Bear and all of Nebraska by his presence in the United States Capitol with this statue, which will be placed sometime soon in the coming months. And we're very excited about this, again, because he marks the deep, deep character of our state, a true representative, I think, of who we are, striving for that which is noble and just and good. And so we're very proud that this dynamic is developing. If I could mention one other thing, we've reintroduced the bill that would actually demark the trail in which the Ponca people, led by Standing Bear, had to take from Niobrara when they were forcibly removed to the reservation in Oklahoma. And by the way, as uh, Judy Goshkabash, and she's an extraordinary leader, not only on Native American affairs, but for, uh, as representing Nebraska in, across the country on a whole variety of topics, um, we, Judy testified before Congress just last week about the importance of this trail. So we're hopeful that this also happens sometime soon. All righty. Well, thank you both so much for joining us today, and we'll be looking forward to seeing him in Statuary Hall.